because I wanted to really marry the shish kebab concept yeah. and of course the SWAT game. Serious with the two. If you've attended any of Daltona's Music in the Amphitheater concerts, you've probably enjoyed dinner courtesy of the convoy of food trucks. It's with bacon and shrimp it's right and there. pork. Yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. Serving food of all sorts, sizes, and styles. And one standout for handheld on the go meals is a SWAT truck. Skewers with attitude. Curtis Bright and his wife run the SWAT truck, and we caught up with Curtis to see how he creates the truck's popular skewers. We have our rookie, our chicken, onion, and bell pepper kebab. Okay. We have our Hawaii Five O. It's our summertime kebab. It's our spam and pineapple and onion kebab. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have our dessert skewer. You're gonna love that. I'm gonna say that for last. And we also have our shrimp and andouille sausage kebab as well. And I think you ought to like that for the okay. summertime as well. Cool. Let's get started. Awesome. The key to grilling shish kebabs, Lee, mm -hmm. is uh, of course soaking your skewers for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. You're going to need your chicken breasts uh, to be cut in one by one pieces. Some of these are a little bit on the large side, but that's okay. We might have some hungry folks out there. But we're just going to start by uh, cutting our onion in half. Okay. Tell me about uh, all your history cooking. What, uh, how did you get started cooking? What was, like, what's the history behind you? Well, it really all kind of starts back in my childhood, just growing up and being around my mother, being in the kitchen, and just following her lead, you know. Yeah. And, you know, she was a baker. I'm not much of a baker, so yeah. I really kind of stuck to the uh, grilling aspect of uh, the cooking and, you know, just pulling on her, ap uh, her, her apron, asking questions, yeah. you know, so on and so forth. And it just ended up uh, developing into a passion of mine. And of course, when you you know kick it, pay for the passion, why not? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, are you self-taught as a cook, or did you go? Did you have any training? Yes, uh, self-taught for the most part, but I did uh, actually have quite a bit of experience uh, being line cooks, head executive chefs for various restaurants uh, in and out of the area, and uh, I've actually worked under some of the greatest cooks uh, here. Uh, and just basically take that training and it's just stuck with me and you know of course I've added some uh, fundamentals on my own but the beautiful thing about cooking is, is, is that it's a self-expression you can do anything you want you can make it on your own and hopefully we can do that today with a couple of our recipes okay now what you're fixing right now what was this what you call this this is the our rookie this is our number one seller on the food truck uh, this is our chicken onion and bell pepper kebab and basically what I'm doing is I'm separating the one by one cues because we're gonna prepare to make the uh, kebabs here. And this is a very quick and easy recipe. Everybody and anybody can do it. The kids love it. They love making them and of course. Okay, now from the you, you brought, you bring up a good, uh, good question. Some of us are, I guess you'd say they're kind of grill challenged. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you put food on the grill, Yes, you're using whether it's gas or it's uh, charcoal, but you're cooking over an open flame. What are some things that people should keep in mind as opposed to like you know cooking over a stove? Cooking over an open flame uh, realistically is quite challenging. <laughs> yeah. Um, first and foremost, it is very hot. Um, but I would say the most important thing uh, when it comes to the kebab aspect: soak your skewers, soak your skewers so okay. they won't burn. Um, secondly, make sure your grill is completely hot before you put your food on there. A lot of folks, they'll fire up their grill, they'll see a good flame, and then they'll just throw it on. But that grill has to be more than 350 degrees to uh, actually make these kebabs work, grill and sear properly. But that's the uh, main thing. And uh, I would say also oil your grill. Make sure you put a little bit of oil on, on the grill. grill? Rates. Yep. Okay. And that'll keep the uh, food from uh, sticking, and also uh, it'll also give it a nice char. Okay. Now the skewers, if you can hold one up for us. Yes. So 
So, uh, that's just like regular bamboo? These are actually wooden skewers. Okay. Uh, you can find these at any of your big box retailers, mm -hmm. uh, your Sam's, mm -hmm. your uh, Walmarts. Uh, you know, you can find them just about anywhere. These are tenon skewers that I uh, like to use mm -hmm. uh, for all of our kebabs uh, because we like to make sure that people are, of course, getting fed. Okay. And, and you and soak uh, them, what do they soak for like a couple of hours? You just make sure that they're like saturated? Yeah, they're just going to soak, soak in regular water for about 15, 20 minutes at the very most. Okay. Yeah, you don't want them to get waterlogged or anything like that. Um, when it comes to the uh, kebab, of course, you want to start with uh, your meat first on the uh, kebab. And I typically like to thread these the long way when yeah. it comes to your chunks mm -hmm. of meat. Make sure, of course, they're bite size, mm -hmm. And it's pretty repetitious. Okay. So it's just chicken, onion, and red bell pepper. Now, how long would that uh, cook on the grill? These are going to cook for about seven to eight minutes. Uh, you want to, of course, make sure it's cooked, but yeah. not overcooked. You don't want to uh, ever <laughs> Uh, have an overcooked piece of uh, boneless skinless chicken breast because it is very easy to uh, lose that flavor and that tenderness uh, in the breast as well. Now when uh, when you're cooking with chicken, yes, a lot of times it's like what you're looking, do you go by a look? Does it have a certain color? Does it have a, a texture to the meat? How, do you, how can you tell when it's done if it's a thick piece of meat? Well, when it's on the grill, you're going to start to see a, a white lining around the edges of the chicken. That's when you know that it's cooked on one side and, of course, ready to be turned to the other. And that's also another benefit of uh, oiling your grill. Mm -hmm. That oil is actually going to stick inside of the, uh, uh, the grill, and it's going to also be a benefit so it can cook the outside of the okay. chicken as well as the inside as well. Okay. So, so those guys are ready to go then? Yep. These guys are ready to roll. They're going to go on the grill right here. Grill's already oiled. Uh, on the SWAT truck, we like to use dry season. That's just us. That's what we like to do. So we're going to use the dry seasoning on the uh, kebabs here. All of our seasons are proprietary. <laughs> proprietary. Uh, yeah. It's a big secret. Okay, so, I was going to ask. Is that like <laughs> secret ingredients? Yes, it's a, it's a secret ingredient. But the thing is, with the shish kebabs, you can make it your own leaf. Uh, you can make your own seasoning, mm -hmm. your own marinade. You can go buy some at the store, either or. Again, it's your world. You mm -hmm. can do whatever you'd like to do. Okay. And I'm just going to increase the flame on the grill here just a bit so we can get these bad boys going. So how long has the SWAT truck been around? SWAT truck's been around for about three years. We've been on the road uh, since uh, August. August will make actually four years for us here, and uh, we have been all over Central Florida. It's been such a blessing for us mm -hmm. uh, to serve our community and everyone uh, in the greater Orlando and Daytona Beach area as well. Now, where did you, how did you come up with the idea that you wanted to do a food truck instead of like a restaurant? <laughs> well, this is a story. Um, I was actually in corporate America, wasn't happy, yeah. wanted to work for my own, was 30 some years old, always worked for other folks, and I just got to a breaking point and I uh, was looking at a hot dog cart originally and I looked at the cost analysis between the two and it just got to a point where I was, it just, it was just as much to open up a hot dog cart as it was to open up a food truck. So I just prayed on it and everything really kind of fell into place for me um you know i prayed on it found a truck bought a truck built the truck out lo and behold uh some of my old co-workers had uh, transitioned from the restaurant industry brick and mortar restaurant industry into the food truck industry and i was blessed with a tremendous amount of help now so it was blessed. swat okay it's <laughs> skewers with a two yes skewers how did you come two. up with that idea as far as uh, a concept for your cooking concept really came about, and a lot of people laugh, but it's total honest truth, uh, it actually came to me in a dream. Okay. This this whole business, this whole concept, it's all God-given. Um, really came to me in a dream. I really wanted to do something different as far as food goes. Just really, I, I, I took my time before I opened the truck. You know, I actually bought the truck, acquired the truck, built the concept over a year, and I just took the time to be a customer of food trucks before I was an actual owner. And I seen a lot of things out there, but you know there was something that was missing uh, from the food truck uh, 
culture, and it was shish kebabs. And uh, from there on in, I just prayed on it, you know, because I wanted to really marry the shish kebab concept yeah. and just really show that, you know, we're authoritative when it mm-hmm. comes to doing them. And of course, SWAT came, skewers with the tube. Yeah, that's yeah. I say when you think about it, food trucks, that's like the ultimate, like finger food, fast yes. food, eating with your hands. Yes. Skewers are perfect for hand food. Yes, yes. During the summer, a lot of folks come to our truck, they have their their beer, their yeah. wine. Uh, a lot of folks uh, bring that stuff to their uh, to the food truck events, and mm-hmm. it's great for walking around and having a drink or what have you. It just makes it easier. Okay, so what's next on the uh, menu? Next on the menu today, Lee, is our shrimp and andouille sausage. I'm really excited. I uh, only bring this kebab out during the summer. Okay. I only bring it out during the summer. It's really not a big seller any other time of the year, but uh, most folks love it. It's different. Uh, but basically, I have our andouille sausage out. Cut our sausages on 45s. Okay. 45 degree angles. We have three and three. Okay. And we're simply going to do the same process of uh, just threading our shrimp. I usually like to start with the sausage first here. Okay. Thread that. And then, of course, the shrimp. I'm going to bring that all the way down. Now, what's the name of this one? What? This one uh-huh. is actually going to be put on our menu pretty soon uh-huh. it's it's seasonal so we really don't have a name okay. but we do uh, try to run contests every now and again and I believe we're actually gonna do be doing one very soon okay because when we put it on the menu people want it to stay and um, that makes sense. yeah and uh, you know so I, I believe we're actually gonna open it up to the public to uh, name this kebab pretty okay. soon Uh, because it's actually beginning to be a uh, pretty popular one here. Now, how did you come up with uh, mixing sausage and shrimp? Well, when it comes to the concept of the food truck, um, Lee, I tried to do my interpretation of other popular recipes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Basically, I try to look at a recipe, deconstruct it, find a way I can skewer it, and just rebuild it in my own way. Um, A good side for this here, um, Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity to make a nice uh, pasta, this goes well. Okay. Uh, it goes well with a uh, rinse as well, uh, believe it or not. And of course, uh, of course, your rice and sauteed vegetables yeah. are, are great as well. Uh, with this particular one, we use a blackening seasoning. Of course, okay. This is again, proprietary. Uh, so we try mm-hmm. to. Uh, How secret? Yes. <laughs> How secret? So we blacken this. We blacken these here. Okay. We blacken it all. The whole thing. Shrimp, sausage, mm-hmm. the whole thing. Now typically how long does it take this uh, this this skewer to cook? This one here is pretty quick. That one here is pretty quick, I would say about four to five minutes. Okay. Because your your sausage, your andouille is already done. Your shrimp just has to be brought up to temp and you should be good to go but it doesn't take long at all that's again why it's a real quick simple easy recipe and that's why we're able to get out our orders uh, to mm-hmm. our customers quickly as well you know when i first started the truck i wanted I, one of the biggest things that i i see is the weight yeah you know, when you go to a food truck event and it's just such a long wait and i didn't want to really develop a concept where i put people in a position where they had to really wait wait mm-hmm. wait for their food 15 20 minutes you know so i just wanted to be able to serve something delicious and Thanks. prepared and yeah absolutely because it's hot out there and you just want to be able to go out enjoy the event have a nice time and not starve or sweat yeah are is there any one or two skewers that are like you've noticed that the crowd favorites that people always will come back and order again yes yes and we're fortunately not preparing that today uh but it is actually our jury duty that's our salmon lollipop kebabs Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's one of the biggest sellers. Mm-hmm. Um, it does take a little bit longer because it is close of salmon, uh, but it is one of the biggest sellers year round. Year round. It just it doesn't matter if it's winter, spring, summer, mm-hmm. fall. Salmon always sells with us. Uh, we just have uh, quite a bit of fans for it. Up next, Lee, it's going to be our Hawaii Five O. That's our spam onion and pineapple. Cloud. Okay. I'm just going to grab one whole pineapple. Of course, we got some onions already in here. And 
spam. Spam. <laughs> a lot of people are apprehensive about spam. Some people don't know what spam is. So, spam, it's like young, some hero of the food world. Yes, it very much so is. Um, not a lot of chefs out there are using spam. Um, but this is one of the most diverse. I remember, I remember eating that when I was a little kid. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, you really can't beat it. You really can't beat it for the cost, for the availability, and the fact that we live in Florida, you just might need it for yeah. you know any one of our hurricanes, you get our food supply cut off. But the Hawaii Five O is just gonna start, we're, of course, we're gonna go right back to our one by one cubes. Okay. Now, when you say one by one, that's pretty much like standard as far as having food cook uniformly, because when you have different different types of food you all want them to you want them to cook all at the same time that's correct that's correct and of course uh, we want to just make sure it's also bite-sized uh, so nobody you know of course chokes on the food or anything yeah. like that and of course we're going to take this pineapple down we're gonna cut around the core okay here something of an art to peeling a pineapple <laughs> a little bit there's a little bit to it Peel enough of them you yeah. know, in the morning and prep uh, prep these these guys because they do sell fast. Uh, the biggest customers for these, yeah, the Hawaii Five O, are the kids. Kids will love this. Oh, really? Yeah, the kids that's, love this. That's it. one way to get a child to eat is spam. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now, we're just gonna cut it right around the core. Okay. Now, when you're cooking here, when you're at an event. Mm -hmm. This is more than just a one-person show. Yes. Who? I mean, how many people are in the truck? Who helps you out? Uh, you know, who can, helps keep you going? I guess. Uh, my wife, actually. Yeah. She she actually is the uh, epicenter of the SWAT truck. Okay. Uh, she is the energy. She is the face of the company. Uh, I just simply cook. <laughs> <laughs> I simply cook. But I let her interact with the customers. Yeah. It, uh, she just has a sweet spirit about her, and everybody loves her. And of course, uh, same uh, procedure with the uh, rest of the kebabs. We're gonna go fruit, spam, I'm sorry, fruit, onion, and then our spam. Okay. We're gonna do just two times. So we're just gonna make two of these here. And then we'll put a smaller piece. And then we'll do one more, good measure. Yeah. Now, what was the inspiration for this? This actually came about uh, in a way where, you know, it was summertime, we needed something fresh and new on the menu. Yeah. And uh, we just basically wanted to get outside of the box and do something different. So we opened it up to uh, for comment for our uh, customers on our social media, and this is what they came up with. So okay. I owe all of this to our customers here. Uh, the so we have our, spoken. Yes, absolutely. So we have our Hawaii Five-O, Spam Onion and Pineapple Kebabs. No seasoning or anything on these guys. Real low heat. Spam and fruit doesn't take long to cook. Okay, so squash, zucchini, and onion. Squash, zucchini, and onion. We've had folks that absolutely, positively hate their vegetables go gaga over this stuff. Yeah. We don't do anything special. We just simply chop it all down, saute it with our seasoning. And the folks at home, you can kind of do the same. You know, you can use a basic salt and pepper. Uh, you can use an all-purpose seasoning. Uh, it really is, again, your world and your taste of, you know, what you like to do and put in your uh, your meals here. I'm just going to use one onion for now. Okay. That's just regular red onion. Regular red onion. We're going to julienne our onion here. And then we're going to take it down one more time because... Sometimes the onion can be a little strong. Yeah. So we're not gonna use that much. When it comes to the veggies, we're simply gonna chunk these up. Okay. Again, in bite-sized pieces. Give it a nice rustic look. Absolutely, and that's one of the things with the food truck, you know, uh, here we, we, we buy local, we typically try to cook food that folks are mm -hmm. just not really getting, you know. We have a farm, a, fle a farmer's market that we do work with, and we also utilize uh, fancy fruit in Orange City. Okay, so a lot of these veggies, and 
a lot of what you have was all purchased here in Deltona, or yes. close to it. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Everything out of Volusia County. Uh, we're going to use a canola oil okay. to saute these vegetables. Now, how long do they use? How long would you cook them? These Until are they start to get soft. Or? These are going to be cooked to al dente. Uh, they're okay. going to be fork tender. So I would say a matter of uh, maybe three to four minutes. We're going to stick them right on the grill. Turn the grill up. Okay. We're also going to use our proprietary seasoning. Believe it or not, it goes on our kebabs and also in our yeah. veggies. It goes on a okay. lot of things that we do use here. Now we're going to do dessert, and literally it is a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. Uh, we're going to start out with our skewers, of course. Uh, strawberries, fresh strawberries, any size you'd like. And cake. Um, I would prefer uh, guava cake today, um, only because it gives it's a nice thick texture. It's firm. It'll stay mm -hmm. on the stick. And, but any cake you'd like, as long as it's a pound cake, it'll usually work. Okay. Yep. So basically, we're just going to um, start off by just taking the heads off the strawberry. Okay. They're inedible. Unless we want stress-free eating so we can walk around and enjoy this uh, yeah. summertime dessert. Okay. And of course, you have your one-by-one -one cubes. Of course, we're going to stick uh -huh. with those. And the same thing for this. Pound cake here, and do fruit first. Okay. Cake, fruit, and more cake. Okay. <laughs> and same thing for this skewer here. Uh huh. Um, I usually like to kick this up a notch with some chocolate. Okay. Uh, just do a light drizzle. Very simple, but really it's pretty elegant looking. Yes, absolutely. And then we'll even kick it up a little bit more with some coconut flakes. Okay, now everything is done. Of course, we have a Hawaii Five Low here. We have our rookie, and we have our shrimp and andouille sausage. Now, for the shrimp and andouille sausage, it's blackened. It's great all by itself. Yeah. Don't need nothing else. For the chicken, you can use quite a bit of sausage. You on the shot truck, we have quite a few. Barbecue teriyaki, hot sauce, sweet yeah. and sour, chimichurri. We got it all. What I like to do for the uh, Hawaii Five O yeah. is we do a little bit of teriyaki. Actually, we'll do sweet and sour. Okay. For the Hawaii Five O, we're just gonna brush this on. And then we'll let it caramelize in there a bit. Yeah. Flip it over. Let it caramelize in there just a bit more on that side. And then we'll do teriyaki for our chicken. Okay. And that's one of the beautiful things about Swat Truck. When you come here, we have so many sauces. You just pick out your protein and, yeah. you know, pick out your sauce and just really kind of make it your own. And for the viewers at home, you can do this as well. You know, you can make your own teriyaki glaze or yeah. marinade or what have you. that. Set those caramelized just for a brief moment there. Okay. All right. We got our vegetables. They're already sauteed for tender. Good to go and nice. We'll go ahead and plate all these here. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy an awesome lunch today. We use long grain basmati rice yeah and the reason why we use this rice is because it gives uh, a very 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 different taste uh, from your regular white rice jasmine rice uh-huh uh, we love this rice very aromatic we're going to give this a little bit of green, a little parsley. Yeah. Just to make it a little bit more pleasant.
Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Deltona TV for more great bites. Oops.